How's that? How about now? Oh, yeah. Now I can hear you. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know whether it was something you 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 fixed there or, or anything, but just just as a reference, you know, sometimes the sound doesn't connect, and just hanging up, ringing back is enough to fix it. So it does happen. Yes. Mm. How about the cyclone? A new country? Is it? It was uh, okay. Well, the we we'd had that really really heavy rain, and then we had that cyclone, and then we had another thunderstorm, um, which caused more problems in the areas already affected by by the rain, the heavy rainfalls and everything. So, on the on that third one, they sort of the the, the government and the local authorities they said, we're going to evacuate you now because the rain is coming and we don't want the rain to arrive and then try and evacuate you. We'd rather get you out of the way, manage as best we can, and then we'll come back and have a look at it afterwards. So they did a, they did a pre-storm evacuation, which was probably a really clever thing to do. Um, but according to, I think I just saw in the news before, there's a possibility of another cyclone forming and they're just, they're just watching it at the moment just to see uh to see what happens so yeah there might be more cyclones to come don't know yeah and the light and yeah they're just reporting thunderstorm threat for this island where i am now and they're monitoring a cyclone out by fiji which could come come across to us so we're okay at the moment you know there's still cleanup going on um but luckily luckily for me we're where we are we're okay so yeah this is something common in this time of the year um, I, it's not so common in new zealand to be honest regardless of the time of year it's not something that we really we really have here you know this is this is sort of like a quite a new thing which is which is why i think in the beginning we were affected quite badly by it because you know we're not used to the areas that were affected and not used to this sort of thing happening so yes. um yeah yeah i mean if it was I, if it was something that happened every year we'd react to it a lot a lot better than we did but that's yeah, right it's because, quite a new thing. yes i think new zealand has are very prepared for the things that are used common because mm. i see the image and the videos about the this Second, and I think uh, this is not not common because if mm. it was countries like New Zealand, we will be prepared for New Zealand mm. and other another developed developed country. Mm. 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 Most countries prepare for what they get. It's like I um I was talking to a student. I think it was I think it was probably about twenty twenty one or maybe. 2020 it was quite a long time ago now but i remember the conversation and he was an examination student and he'd, he'd passed the exams and you know he'd um he came along and we were, we were talking and he said that he, he just needed some help with a little bit of english for his university and i said to him i said well, where where are you where are you going and i think he was in i think he was in taiwan and he was planning he was going off to america and um he he told me where he was going, and I said, "Oh, that's in um, well, that's in Tornado Valley." And he 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 said he said what? And I said, "Well, you know, it's in Tornado Valley, I believe." And I thought, "Oh, I better check." Um, now he's in Taiwan, right? He's used to you know occasional earthquakes and things like that. Um, yes. Going into Tornado Valley, he, you know, he hadn't really done his research on the university, and he didn't realize that that was sort of you know. And I said, oh, don't worry about it. I said, because, you know, they're used to it. They know what to expect. They watch the weather patterns and they can issue warnings. And you've got special areas that you can go to in universities and high schools and things where, and, and people's houses, you know, you go underground, right? There's special areas that, that, that are there to sort of protect you while these storms go through. And he was like, I didn't, he said, I've spoken to a lot of people. Nobody mentioned it. You know, they don't, you know, and I said, well, from a university point of view, they're not, they're probably not going to advertise this because, you know, it's, 
it might it might put off people like yourself coming from one country going to another that have got no experience for this right um you know oh my god i don't want to go there because they've got tornadoes and twisters and ah, you know but they're prepared for it so for us we weren't prepared for this <laughs> yeah um yeah yeah well what, what about where you are i mean do you have any like do you have like floods and i know in in brazil i um a student who lived near a river um i think she's somewhere around rio or something like that you know every year she said oh every year it floods every year and i said well why doesn't the government fix it you know it would make <laughs> sense if it happens every year you you do something to fix the problem and she said oh her, her answer to that was well not our government <laughs> one of the big problems here in Brazil is is when people uh, build houses and mountains. So this is a, the big challenge because uh, when the rain come, uh, all the things happen. And we have an example uh, right now in São Paulo. Uh, I think uh, almost 60 people died because... Uh, the rain came and they wasn't uh, have time to escape from that area and the mm -hmm. mountains uh, just uh, cover the, the house with uh, because right. the the how can I say this when the the ground is uh, with lots of of rain lots of water yeah it gets saturated the word that you're looking for is saturated it becomes absolutely saturated and then you yes. have a landslip yeah that's right that yeah. this yeah. happened here and the carnival right a few days ago yeah. and this is a wow. really common this is really common here wow wow there you go saturated and landslip you can use that word like you could say the ground is saturated and so when the ground is saturated it becomes like really heavy and obviously then it can move um we had those here we, we we've had definitely had those here you know we've lost you know quite a few areas have had had these problems um sometimes onto people's houses sometimes the house itself has yes. come down with it um sometimes they just happen over roads and things like that um but you know as i say you know if 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 things do happen you know on a regular basis you think that maybe the thinking you know maybe we don't build houses there anymore you know or during periods of forecasted heavy rain you leave your house you go yeah. away right you go somewhere safe right obviously protect people's lives is the most important thing not just for the person whose house is here but what about the people who are down here Right, they don't want this house arriving on their house at two o'clock in the morning, right? So it, it's it's sort of like about being, you know, that preventative. Don't don't react. Be proactive and and do something as you know these things happen. Um, but you know, it's like it's like in New Zealand. So New Zealand, we're used to earthquakes right we're on what they call it, the tectonic plate the ring of fire it goes up through new zealand japan mexico so we watch each other you know so new zealand's had quite a few earthquakes just recently but our building code our building rules and regulations law you could say says you must build to these standards and all the way through the building process buildings are being checked by officials from the government departments to come and say okay so you you had a plan to build a house okay so we've approved this right you all your codes and everything on here are covered and now as you build it we're going to check that you're actually building that house to that standard and when you've finished we're going to give a final sign off that people can actually go into the structure that you've built be it a big building or a, a small a small house or something like that and that person who puts their name on it right they are responsible and all the people whose names have been signing off at the various stages they are responsible and if something happens in the future and this thing falls apart and it fight you find out that somebody has done something wrong that person can be liable for it 
So, you know, bribing them is pointless. You can't bribe, you know, they, they, they wouldn't take bribes. They wouldn't do it because if they were found out, well, it could be a, it could be a prison sentence. So, yes. you know, they're quite serious about it. Uh, mm. he, yes, it's, it's very interesting because uh, they patronize the, the, the laws and try to help the people to do the, the right things and avoid mm. uh, some problems like this. Uh, but here in Brazil, we have some areas, especially in Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo, when the government uh, can go there because there are some group of, of uh, people they are illegal and try to to govern by the side in some some area and the government can go there i don't know the name of of this of this but uh, it's very common here in brazil uh hmm. it's like gangs right that ah, uh, okay. try to to govern some areas by the force of the illegal uh, uh weapons and the traffic of drugs. They command some mm. areas, some poor, poorest areas, as uh, mm. like uh, in some communities in Rio de Janeiro, it's very common. In that area, mm. uh, the government uh, can help the people. It's very difficult to, to go there. Uh, the police could go there, but it's very difficult to deal with these people because, mm. uh, for example, they don't pay for the water, they don't pay for the energy because it's everything uh, illegal. They, they make some, they made some uh, mechanism to, 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 to get these things without the regulation. Mm. This is something mm. that happened in the major cities. Right, right, right. So the government, the government doesn't try and stop these gang areas. They they try, but it's very difficult because it's something historical. It's something bigger. Uh, they are wow. ramificated for very very uh, extensions. And when I I don't know if it's the right to say, but uh, they have some partnership with the, this kind of of people some politicians have because they okay. uh, uh it's, it's about money corruption and all the things about this mm. and it's, it's more mm. easy for a politician to be partnered with these people uh, mm. uh, uh or against them yeah yeah i, don't, I mean um, people people like you describe i mean if you disagree with them or if you make their life hard they'll probably come for you you know they'll you know they'll basically the person who's in who's in office can be in danger yeah i get it so you sort of got corruption this side or you know you can either be corrupt or you can be a target right yes so yeah if the if the proper if the proper laws and support for those laws are not there then yeah it becomes an issue so oh the differences around the world eh there you go yeah. <laughs> well jefferson i don't know I, we're I, out of time yes it was out of time and i thank you so much and i hope to you're see very you welcome soon. all right always thank a pleasure you. anytime anytime see you next time bye see you